is it your New Year's resolution and your 2020 goal to really build up your glutes? This video is going to be for you. It is pulled straight from my January Shred and Shape Challenge. It is gonna be a tutorial style workout, so let's go. So the first exercise in the workout is a barbell glute bridge. Now, unlike the hip thrust, our back is positioned flat on the floor. So with this exercise, you still make sure that your chin is tucked. As you come up, you're keeping that posterior pelvic tilt and you are squeezing at the top of the rep for a second. Now, as well, when you're doing this, make sure your feet are around shoulder width apart and your shins are vertical at the top of the exercise. Now the glute bridge is pretty easy to set up, so that's why it is quite common in a lot of the programs that I do, especially for you girls who are just starting out. You can do this with a dumbbell here, or also with a booty band, or also body weight only. So we are doing a superset with the glute bridge straight into an elevated dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Now we are using an elevation, so up on the benches to really increase the range of motion. Now with this exercise, it's a Romanian deadlift, so this is a hip hinge movement pattern. So what we wanna do is really focus on driving our hips back as far as we can. I like to think of pushing my butt back to the wall and really increasing time under tension on our glutes and hamstrings. So hips back, hips back, hips back, and then forward. So it's really engaging our glutes with this one. So squeezing at the top as well. So a big mistake that I do see with exercises like Romanian deadlifts is looking up or looking at yourself in the mirror for that matter. So that means that your head is up when you're tipping over and this is really putting your spine out of alignment to most effectively recruit your glutes and really engage the right muscles as well as just protecting your whole spine and core. You need to keep everything in alignment. So that means chin will be tucked throughout the whole movement. So your head will be down during this. So. So next up we have good mornings. Now these are one of my favorite posterior chain exercises. And again, this is a hip hinge movement pattern. Now for this one, we again, like Romanian deadlifts, are focusing on driving our hips back, driving our butt back to the wall behind us in a slow and controlled manner. Now, I do see a lot of you girls out there with too much bend in your knees and like squatting it back. This is not how you do a good morning. Your knees should have just a soft bend. If you are doing it with too much of a bend, you're really limiting that hamstring glute activation. So again, you want to really feel it stretch. So we're supersetting our good mornings with a dumbbell step up. I'm doing it with a high step. Now, if you are just a beginner, you can really scale this to suit your ability level. So you will begin with quite a low rise. Now with this one, we are really starting with our high foot placement to put our glutes and hamstrings on a maximum tension from that beginning point. So from that starting point. This exercise is all about your front leg. This is what is gonna be doing the work. You are not pushing off the leg that is back. It's all about driving out of your front foot. So what I like to do is I like to just keep this back leg pretty much like I'll touch the ground, but it's only just with the top of my foot. I am driving out of my top leg. Now with this one as well, you wanna make sure that you are keeping your chest up and just focusing on stability and balance and keeping everything locked on tight. With single leg exercises, I do see a lot of you girls wibble wobbling around and a lot of the time it is because you're just not engaging your core. So not pulling everything in tight. So that's why it is important to really squeeze everything in, keep it locked on tight and this will really help you stay controlled with the movements. Lauren, what are you doing to me? This is a killer. <laughs> so next up we have our curtsy lunges. So these are one of my favorites for glutes actually and they do feature quite a lot in my program. Now these need to be done correctly in order to feel them the right way. I see a lot of people 
really overstepping the curtsy lunge and it puts a lot of strain on your knee joint. So you need to find a spot that is really comfortable and so that you are not over exaggerating your foot placement. So as you will see when I'm demonstrating this exercise, my back foot is stepping just outside my front foot. So I'm keeping quite a strong alignment so that I am maintaining that balance and stability. If you are new to this, you can start out with body weight only, but as you can see here, I'm holding dumbbells and just stepping out. I like to do them just one leg at a time. This is a great unilateral loop exercise. So next up we have our banded abduction. Now I don't have a seated abduction machine at this gym so what I'm going to be doing is using a band for this. So this is a great alternative for you girls who train from home and still want to be working those glutes. Now this is doing one of my favorite methods. This is doing our backward lean into our upright position into our forward lean for reps. Now what we like to start with is the weakest position first. So that's why backward lean is our weakest. So we're doing reps with that one. Then moving into upright and then into our strongest position, which is our forward lean. You don't want to be fatiguing your muscles when you are in that weakest spot by doing that last. So girls, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial style workout, which is straight from my brand new challenge, Shred and Shape which is starting soon, the 27th of January. Now this is my biggest and most popular challenge. There is literally thousands and thousands of you girls that come on board this. I think from over 100 countries will be on board this and ready to roll come January 27th. It really is the entire complete package. It is an experience with your nutrition, your training, your mindset and total community that we have. You'll receive your meal plans, your macro and calorie breakdowns, which is all accessed on my app. You have the ability to make food swaps and also all of my favorite macro friendly recipes. There is both a gym and a home training program. And even if you are new to the gym, there is exercise video demonstrations of everything throughout the challenge. Now, the best part I think is our community that we build a part of this. Anyone who knows Lauren Simpson Fitness will know how strong a support network we have behind all my programs. And it is the reason why you girls get results that last and you just keep coming back for more and more. This is a no bullshit approach when it comes to your health and fitness goals. So I want you to be part of this and I want to coach you to be your best yet this year. So if you haven't already signed up, now is the time to do so. I am so excited to get started.